So let's uh, revise a bit. What's our problem? We want to get switch idle mine. That is an audio file. We loaded. We now we apply the transformation from time. We now have a time frequency uh, information. We calculated the onset where the the the, freak, the notes start. So we have something like this to go from audio to this to the musical score and to a MIDI. Uh, file we still need some um, steps and things get a bit complicated also yeah so what we need when we want to define uh, a musical score we need to know the key of the song we need to know the BPM that should be performed we need to know the notes itself and we need to know the duration of the notes. Yeah? Bear in mind that even though Librosa is a very powerful library, it's not perfect. Yeah? It's not perfect. Uh, some tasks are very difficult and people are still researching how to improve and optimize. Yeah? So uh, we will not achieve 100% success but we can get uh, some good results yeah so with this information i would like now to calculate the tempo the bpm of the song yeah with some some internet research i found here in many places that the guns and roses switch idle mine has a bpm of 126 uh, so it's um, 126 beats per minute I've seen some more or less, but in this uh, region, yeah. So, Librosa also have this very nice function, which is B-Track. So you should uh, read here the uh, documentation. I believe that at Music Information Retrieval, there is also a tutorial on B-Tracking. Uh, B-Tracking, so... Uh, there's also a tutorial, they explain how uh, some things work. So, my goal is to detect the tempo, the BPM. So, when I go to the score, I can set and execute the notes according to a certain BPM. So, I'm defining here a function that is estimate tempo. Yeah, I'm passing the uh, onset envelope that I calculated before, and this function will give me the tempo. So uh, this case it calculated 130. So if you consider, I saw some some places 126, 125, 128. Okay, 130, not so bad. And here I'm also intro introducing the Music 21 library which will be the library that will allow me to construct the score itself. So uh, I already setting, I, I, calc I estimate the tempo and I setting this metronome mark uh, referring to this tempo. Okay, now it comes some auxiliary functions. I'll, for, for MIDI, sometimes you need to give the duration, uh, not in terms of seconds, but in terms of uh, quarter notes. So this is a function that will just uh, convert from time to beat. So it will convert seconds to quarter notes. Another auxiliary function here is in MIDI, levels go from 0 to 127. And uh, I'm getting there uh, an amplitude, yeah, can be uh, in dB, so a minus 120 to 0 dB, or uh, different magnitudes, and I want to remap this to MIDI, and just uh, as a demonstration, I, I am also generating I'm with uh, sine waves. So, um, we have here the formula of a sine wave, we need an amplitude, and we need a duration, and we need 
a frequency to play so that we can synthesize a, a note by constructing a sine wave that needs the amplitude, the duration, it needs the uh, the frequency. Yeah. So these are auxiliary functions that will be called inside other functions, so I can translate from time to quarter notes, from magnitude to MIDI velocity, from uh, so I'm defining here. So what was my goal? My goal is now I have this time frequency representation. I want to detect for each segment which note it is. So for example, in the beginning, I have this that many seconds of silence because the song still didn't start. Then during this interval, I, I want to execute this note and I want to have a, a transcription and I want to have a MIDI file and I also want to generate a sine wave. So I will create a, what I'm calling here a music information array. So it will have uh, sine wave information and then it will have two different um, and then we will have the MIDI notes, so MIDI information, it, it will have this MUSIC21 information because you need to, um, to construct uh, this, you need to go to the MIDI MUSIC21 uh, documentation and see how you need to create a note yeah, and uh, to give it a note duration and uh, and then that you are able to have the transcription. By the way, to have this uh, this picture here, you need to have the music score installed because music score is uh, what um, will uh, the music twenty one use it to to have this picture. Unfortunately, if you are running it uh, remotely, I could not set up in the um, Linux server to run music score so this you will not show this so what you will have it's uh, you can have a text information so it's a uh, so for example is a music 21 note C sharp and these are the times that uh, they need to be uh, played and this information can be converted also to MIDI or to uh, the transcription itself. Uh, so let's go back. So I need the sine wave information, amplitude, duration, frequency. I need the mus music 21 information and I need the MIDI information. So what I'm doing here, I'm creating a function that is called estimate pitch and notes. I will give uh, an array. It will have the onset boundaries, which is each segment. And we will go through each segment. It will estimate the pitch and it will return, for example, uh, sine and MIDI note information. Here is the function that estimates the pitch itself. It goes in each segment and it will uh, detect which note it is from this frequency. So this function here is the most complex. Yeah, It will take the estimated pitch and will construct my information giving for the sine wave it, it calculates the amplitude the fundamental frequency then it converts also to uh, the MIDI information so in MIDI we need the MIDI velocity we need MIDI duration so we need all these functions to calculate the MIDI the sine wave and the music 21 notes and finally I'm creating the music information array 
which puts together in an array sine wave, MIDI, and music 21 notes. So you should go through the code. It's a bit complicated, but uh, just see the nested functions. Yeah, we're going each segment of time. We try to estimate the fundamental frequency. We're just taking averages to try to get uh, which note we should play. We have the, the segment, which is the duration. We convert from dB to amplitude to give it the sine wave amplitude and to give it a MIDI velocity. Uh, and this is, we have these auxiliary functions to convert time to quarter notes, to estimate the tempo, to remap from uh, values. And uh, we end up with something like this.